Hello, it's Kat, and in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make a clipping mask in Illustrator, which is useful when you want to hide or trim parts of your image without losing any of your original art. For this demo, I'll be using this cookie dough artwork, and we'll trim it to the shape and size of the artboard using a basic clipping mask. When you're first learning about clipping masks, I find a useful analogy is thinking of the clipping shape as you would a cookie cutter, and we're going to hide everything outside the edges of the cookie cutter, and essentially the art in the center will be revealed. The two most important things to note about making a clipping mask are that the shape you're using to actually trim your art needs to be on top of all of the art that you want to clip, and the shape just needs to be either a single shape or a compound path. For this tutorial, I'll be using a simple rectangle just to trim the artwork to the size of the artboard, which is a very common use for clipping masks. I have my cookie art ready to trim. You can see it's all on one layer that consists of multiple groups and a few paths. And I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool here. You can hit M on your keyboard to get that. Click once anywhere on your artboard. I'm going to set the dimensions here to 1080 by 1080, which is the exact size of my artboard, and click OK. I'm going to set the fill to none and the stroke to none because it doesn't matter. This shape will disappear as we make our mask. And I'm just going to click here on the vertical center and the horizontal center shortcuts in my project panel so that it will be perfectly aligned to the outlines of my artboard. Next, we'll go ahead and select everything on this layer by clicking the circle in the select column of your layers panel. Note that the rectangle is on top of all of the artwork, so this will work perfectly. And now we're going to go to object, clipping mask, Make. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control 7 on a PC or Command 7 on a Mac. Now you can see that our art is trimmed to the clipping mask, but the nice thing is the original artwork still exists and is still editable. If we go to View, Outline View, you can see that the edges of our cookie dough and the rest of the art that falls outside of the artboard is still actually here, which is handy if you need to go back and edit later. Going back to our regular preview here, just to show you in the layers panel, this will create a clip group, which is nice because you can move this around without worrying about the background moving independently from your clip shape. You can also add artwork to the clipping group very easily. Say I wanted to add another chocolate chip over here and it's somewhat off the artboard and I just want that to be inside the clip group. I can grab it from my layers palette and drag it inside that clip group and you'll see that it's cropped the same as all of our original cookie dough art. If you want to edit inside the clip group, you can use your selection tool and double click anywhere in there. You'll see now you're inside the clip group and then you can go ahead and click further to get down into your nested groups and just edit your art as you would normally. To get out of this mode, you're going to go ahead and hit escape. Sometimes you'll have to do it more than once. And now you're back to the regular clip group view. You can also release the clipping mask anytime you wish. You can simply right click on it and go to release clipping mask. That's also found under the object menu. And now you're back to your ungrouped artwork. This is the most basic use of the clipping mask. You can also use much more complex shapes and even text to create really neat effects. If you're looking for a way to preview your artwork as if it's clipped and just hide everything outside of the artboard without using a clipping mask, I do have a tutorial on trim view, which you can watch here. I hope that was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like and please leave any questions you have in the comments down below. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy clipping.